Hello, great job. Today's topic is Math Literacy, Taxable Income, and Income Tax. So we're going to be calculating taxable income. I'm going to show you step by step how you can calculate taxable income on Math Lit, obviously. So it's important that you listen carefully and we work together so that you can understand what this is talking about. So as you can see here in this question paper here, I'm going to start by reading at the top here. Employees contribute tax multiple through SACS. Chloe, a 50, 51 year old educator, earns $34,447.22 monthly and contributes 7,5% of her gross salary to, towards a pension fund. She also has a medical aid for herself and husband and two children. The tax taxable below is used to calculate the amount each person will contribute according to his or her salary. Here, here, guys, I'm zooming in so that you can see properly. So, this is it. This is taxable income and, and rate of tax. So, you can see here the table. So, they start the questions. Uh, write down the acronym for the acronym for SACS in full. This one is, is really that it, it does is not really that challenging. It's South African Revenue Service. So we're going to 2.2.2. .2. Write down the number of tax brackets in the personal income tax table above. Write down the number of tax brackets in the income tax table above. So we're going to be checking out tax brackets here. You can see here how many tax brackets here in the taxable income. As you see, guys, I'm counting. You, you can see the tabs here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, uh, 1, 2. You can see here how many. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7. There are 7 taxable, taxable brackets here. As you, can, you count just here the taxable brackets here. There are 7. So, the text brackets, by the way, the text brackets, they are 7. So, I'm going to 2.2.3, which is show by means of calculation how the minimum amount of 7,362 7, change from one of the text brackets is calculated. So obviously we will have to, as it says here, show by means of calculation, show by means of a calculation. So we have to get, we have to prove how we can get this amount here, the minimum amount. So this is it. So you can check here. So we're going to focus on this, this one, these numbers here. As you can see, these numbers, you're going to focus on these ones. So how we can calculate here? You're going to say for the 2,678, we all can see for the 2,678. Then we say plus 26%, as it says here, plus 26%. Then we can write here of 370,000, when we put brackets, obviously, 370,500 minus 337,100. That's the first step. So because... You know the Potmas rule, you have to start with some the, the bracket, we have to start what's inside the bracket. So the answer here is 133,400. So you can see here for the 2,678 plus 26%, then we say of 133,400. Okay, guys, this is how we calculate here. You know that when we say off, we mean multiply. So now we're going to. So now we are going to be saying 26%. This is 26%, guys. Uh, multiply by 133,400. The answer is 34,684. The answer is 34,684. That's the answer. And then. After that, we go to 
we take that 34,684, we plus it by, plus it by 42,678 plus, 42,678 plus 34,684. So the answer is 77,362. That's how we got 77,362. 77,362. So let's go back to the question. The question says, show by means of by calculation by means of calculation how the minimum 77,362 change from one text from one of the text brackets is calculated changed from one of the text bracket is calculated how in simple terms i'll just say how did we get this amount 77,362 how do we get this amount here here 77,362. How do we get it? So how did we do this? We took this this these calculations here. I'll just make it clear for you guys. We took it here. We took these ones here. So what did we say? We said for the 2,678 plus 26% of then we put bracket 370,500 minus 287,100. 287,100. Then we started with the brackets. We minus in the brackets first. Then we got 133,400. Then we took for the 2,678 plus 26% of 100, which is multiply, of is multiply, which is then we say. For the 2,678 plus 26% multiply by 133,400. So we said 26% multiply by 133,400. Then we got 34,684. Then we plus it by four, we plus it with 42,678. Then we got the amount they wanted. So that's it. So. 2.2.4 is give the meaning of tax rebate according to context, which this one they always ask, especially in prelim, is tax rebate is an amount of money by which SARS reduces the actual tax owing. So the last one is 2.2.5, which is the longest one, which is 8 marks. Chloe said that her monthly tax contribution is 3.5. 3 Verify showing all calculation whether her statement is correct. All calculation whether statement is correct so let's begin calculating Chloe how much Chloe earns as I've said Chloe earns 34,000 34, 27, monthly and contributes 7.5 percent so we're going to start by saying 34,447,22 multiply by 7.5%. Then we will get the answer 2,583,54. You can do it with your calculator, guys. Instead, 4,447,22 multiply by 7.5%. Then we'll get the answer 2,583,54. That's how much... Um, that's how much... Uh, Chloe contributes, so we have to subtract it because that's how much contributes. That's how much uh, the monthly and that's how con how much he contributes. He or she contributes. She, I think it's a she. She contributes seven point five percent of her gross salary towards a pension fund. So that's how much money it's going to pen that's going to pen pension fund. So we have to minus it. We have to say that 4,447,22 minus 2,583,54,5415. So we minus, then we will get the answer 31,863,66785. Then we multiply by 12. Where did you get that 12? It's 12 months. That 12 is 12 months. Remember, this is a, a Chloe ends 34,447,22 monthly. So we multiply by 12 months now. Multiply by 12. Then we will get 382,364,145.
four two that's the amount then after that here is the tricky part guys after that we're going to be taking going to be taking the first bracket it's not the first bracket actually it's the second bracket you're going to be taking the second bracket because now we found out how much chloe ends where does chloe fall on a taxable income where does chloe fall in taxable income uh, on the third bracket i don't actually count the first one because we are not using it it's not that taxable so chloe falls here because he, she earns three hundred and eighty two thousand three hundred and sixty four so she falls here we have to tax him tax her using the amount here so this is it we start by saying seventy seven thousand three hundred and sixty two as you see here plus 31 percent then we put on bracket 382,364 comma 1,4 minus 370,500 the 370,500 is here we minus it with her yearly salary we have already calculated the yearly salary with her yearly salary so we start by with things that in the bracket i'm sure you know by now so we're going to be saying 72,362 plus 31 percent then in the brackets now what's left is 11,864,14 so after we 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 do this so guys after we must go to our calculator and say 31 percent multiplied by 11,864,14 31 percent as you see here i've just uh, written for you 31 percent 31 percent is 0 comma 31 so now you have to take that 3000 that 3677 the answer is 3677 comma 8834 the answer is 3677 comma 8834 so after that 77362 plus it's no longer multiplied it's plus the answer which is three six seven seven comma eight eight which the answer is eight one thousand and thirty nine comma eighty eight so that's the answer so right now you're asking yourself where do we get the sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty five most of the learners uh, finish here by saying eight one thousand then they ask themselves what's going on now so now you're going to have to take the one here tax repayment and medical aid credit for 2023-2024 which you're going to take the primary how old is uh, chloe she's 51 years old that simply means she's not older than 65 or older than 75 you take the primary one here here here's the 61425 so let's go to the calculator again so you have to minus it you don't plus it you have to minus it because it's a tax you have to minus it it's going out comma eight eight then you say uh, minus 16 4 25 that's it you found the answer 64614,88 so that's how much she 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 makes that's how much money she's left with when we talk about yearly basis now we have to divide because we want the monthly one not the yearly one monthly one we want the monthly one, not the yearly one. So we have to put on divide here by 12 months. 64,614 divide by 12. How much is left with? 5,384,5. That's one is the monthly one. So right now you think we are done. We are not done yet. We're still going there. So you're asking yourself, how do we get these amounts here? remember here as you can see she also has a medical aid for herself husband and two children there are four of them herself husband this is we go here medical tax credit per month for medical fund members we're going to the calculator now before we go to the calculator let me show you this how much they, they pay Taxpayer is 347, first dependent, which is the husband, 347 for each additional dependent, which are two children, 234. So this is in the calculator. I've already uh, 
typed it, which is 5384,57, which is her monthly salary after deductions. Then we say minus 3, 347 multiplied by 2 because it's it's a taxpayer and her husband. The, and her husband, which is the first dependent. Remember, first dependent has to pay 347. Then we say plus plus 234, which are the children, multiply by 2. Then we close the bracket. How much have we left with? We are left with 4,222,57. That's it. So the statement is invalid because back to the question it says here, Chloe said that her monthly tax contribution is 3,554,25. Verify showing all calculation whether her statement is correct. Well, the statement is not correct because we didn't find that answer. So that's it. So guys, this is how you calculate um, taxable income. It's very hard, especially in the end. The 8 max one. For me also, it's very hard to explain here on the on the on the laptop or phone so i would rather prefer you to do it on the board next time i'm gonna do it on the board so guys this is it this is all you need to know about taxable income make sure you subscribe and like the video and share the video peace